Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Today we'll do the experiment number eight, titration. Titration is a special technique by which we can determine the concentration of unknown solution of acid or base by neutralizing against the standard solution of acid or base. In this titration, we will use a reaction called neutralization. The neutralization is a reaction in which an acid or react with a base to form salt and water. Whenever an acid react with the base, it always produces salt and water. That is called neutralization. For our case, we are taking hydrochloric acid as an acid and sodium hydroxide as a base to produce sodium chloride as a salt and water is there. Among these two solutions, we have hydrochloric acid is unknown. We do not know the concentration of hydrochloric acid that is called an A and the volume of the acid is also determined by the buret reading. This BR means buret reading that is called VA. The concentration of the base is given 0.1 and the volume of the base is also we kept the same because we are taking the volume of the buret through the pipette that is 10 ml and we use the formula NA VA is equal to NB VB. NA is unknown. VA is burette reading, it comes from the burette from here and the NB is the normality of the base, it is 0.1, it is given here. VB is the volume of the base 10 ml which will take through the burette pipette and we saw this ex uh, equation to determine the concentration of acid. To start my experiment, first of all we have to wash all the glassware. It is important because we must, we need the clean glassware. To wash the burette, we just pour the water because the burette is a long glassware. So we have to pour the water with closed knob and just shake, rotate and tilt the burette and throw the water. And sometime we take the water inside and open the jet of the burette to pass it from the jet to clean the jet also and you can throw the rest of the water. And for the pipette, pipette should be washed, you can wash the pipette also by pouring some water inside and outside to make it clean. All the glassware should be thoroughly washed before starting the experiment. Now I have cleaned my glassware and washed it. It is thoroughly washed and now we can start the experiment on the bench. After washing, the next step is rinsing because there is some water left over inside the burette. To remove this water which is inside the burette, we should rinse the burette with the acid. For the rinsing purpose, what we do? We just take a little quantity of acid in the burette like this and rotate as well as tilt the burette. So the acid should touch all the wall inside the burette after shaking and we should throw this acid in the sink because this is rinsing. And similarly, the pipette should be rinsed by the base to rinse the pipette we just take a little quantity of base in the pipette and shake it and throw it. This is section bulb, we take a small quantity of the base, rotate it, tilt it and throw it in the sink. So our pipette is rinsed by the base because inside water is removed. Now I have rinsed burette and pipette with the acid and base. Now we will go for to perform the next steps of this experiment. After washing and rinsing, I will perform the next steps of this experiment. That is filling the burette with the acid. To fill the burette with the acid, we just pour the acid in the burette. To fill the burette with the acid, After filling the burette with the acid, 
we have to remove the air from the jet of the burette that can be done by opening the jet completely and to pass the solution through the nozzle doing this you might lower the level of the acid here but it is above the zero so it is good now after filling this we have to maintain the level at zero we fix the burette on the stand and make the level zero to make the level zero we have to just open the jet slowly and by observing here it should be at the our eye level and the lower meniscus we measure the zero by opening the jet slowly you can see here my down on my hand i'm opening the jet slowly and then solution will come down and we have to close the jet when it reaches to the zero now it is zero and i close the jet the knob to stop the level after taking the acid in the burette we have to take the base in the conical flask through the pipette to do this we just take the little quantity of the base we have to fill the pipette up till the mark like this when it reach to the mark if it go above the mark you have to press the uh, knob of empty so it can come down after making the level at 10 ml we can take the base in the conical flask this is 10 ml of the base in the conical flask with the help of suction bulb through the pipette exactly 10 ml of the base comes in the conical flask and then in the conical flask we have to add one drop of phenolphthalein or the methyl orange first we will use the phenolphthalein so i am taking one drop of phenolphthalein with the base so it will give the pink color and we keep this flask under the burette this is all about the preparation up till now what we have done is the preparation we fill the burette with the acid fill the flask with the base and add one drop of indicator this was all preparation now we will start the experiment to get the reading we have done all the preparation the number one washing rinsing and filling and adding the indicator now our experiment is completely ready to perform the first reading is zero initial reading is zero to run the experiment what we have to do just take the flask on the left hand the flask in the left hand with two finger and one thumb so you can shake the flask easily and with the right hand control the knob to run the burette because when the neutralization is complete the color will disappear so we start the experiment by opening the knob slowly to run the burette in the conical flask it should be gradual and slowly so you can control the volume of the acid from the burette continuously shake the flask and you can see the drops are going slowly in the flask continuously shake the flask and run the burette slowly and gradually until the color change at the acid from the burette slowly and continuously shake the flask so until the color disappear during this procedure you have to be very careful to control the burette if you miss the reading then you have to do again that's why we run the burette slowly and this is the end point because the color is disappear so this is called the end point after getting the end point we have to observe the final reading by observing the lower meniscus in the burette this is exactly touching the 7 ml this is our final reading for our convenience we can keep a white paper on the back of the burette so we can see the observation clearly after taking this reading we have to repeat this experiment three times to make sure to this to do this we have to wash the flask take the 10 ml of the base same similar way by the pipette and now we have to add the indicator methyl orange in the conical flask when we add the one drop of methyl orange in the flask it will give the yellow color just one drop 
of the methyl orange to get the clear color we have to run the burette and then this will be the end point the color change will be from yellow to pink this is the pink color this is the pink color we have get it now this pink color is the end point and we can take the reading from the burette same way after getting the end point as a pink color uh, we can take the reading from the burette by keeping a small white paper on the back of the burette to take the reading this is our the reading this is the final reading and this way we can take the three times we can repeat the experiment three times and then take the average and perform our calculations